UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will announce the largest ever military aid package to Ukraine during a visit to Poland. It includes boats, long-range storm shadow missiles, ammunition and armoured vehicles. Sunak will announce a massive increase in military support for Ukraine, including £500 million sterling in additional military funding and the largest ever delivery of vital equipment in the UK's history. Sunak will then travel to Germany to meet with Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Berlin. Ukraine is facing an existential threat as Russia continues its barbaric invasion, risking the security and stability of all of Europe. The £500 million additional funding announced, which takes us to £3 billion in UK military aid for Ukraine this financial year, will be used to rapidly deliver urgently needed ammunition, air defence, drones and engineering support, the British government said. The largest ever package of equipment from the UK includes 60 boats, including raid and dive boats, as well as naval guns, more than 1,600 strike and air defence missiles, as well as additional long-range storm shadow missiles, more than 400 vehicles, including 160 Husky protected mobility vehicles, 162 armoured vehicles and 78 all-terrain vehicles about 4 million rounds of ammunition for small arms. Defending Ukraine against Russia's brutal ambitions is vital for our security and for all of Europe. If Putin is allowed to succeed in this war of aggression, he will not stop at the Polish border, Sunak said. This record package of military aid will give President Zelensky and his brave nation more of the kit they need to kick Putin out and restore peace and stability in Europe. The UK was the first to provide NLAW missiles and the first to give modern tanks and the first to send long-range missiles. Now we are going even further. We will never let the world forget the existential battle Ukraine is fighting and with our enduring support, they will win, UK Defence Secretary Grant Shapps told. A total of 11 people are missing after continuous heavy rainfall hit many parts of South China's Guangdong province in recent days, the Provincial Emergency Management Department said. According to Xinhua, the search and rescue operations are still underway, the department said, adding that six of the missing individuals are from Jiangwan Township, Xiaoguan City, while the other five are from Dalong Village, Jingyuan City. I in the city of Xiaoguan in the north of the province, where large areas are flooded and landslides have been reported. Rescuers were sent to relocate trapped residents and transport food and other materials. The most seriously affected areas are located along the Bay River, a southern tributary of the Pearl River, which flows from Xiaoguan to the Pearl River Delta. The recent heavy rainfall has affected many cities, including Xiaoguan, Guangzhou, Haiyuan, Jiaqing, Xingyuan, Meizhou, and Huizhou, resulting in damaged houses, blocked roads, and landslides. Provincial authorities warned that water levels in the Bay River were expected to hit once-in-a-century levels after another flood earlier this month. They later downgraded the warning, saying water would reach once-in-50-years levels. In Guangdong Province, more than 54,000 people have been relocated across the province, with 12,256 people being urgently resettled, the department said. So far, 36 houses have collapsed. 48 houses have been severely damaged, resulting in a direct economic loss of nearly 140.6 million yuan or about 19.8 million US dollars.